Bye, Claire. Hi, Steve. <laughs> Welcome back to Art Friends Coffee. Um, really enjoyed the last few videos we've uh, we've been chatting through. And uh, this time, we'd simply like to know if you have any tips for landscape artists. Lovely. Well, thank you for having me back. Really appreciate it. Enjoyed our chat. Now, for a landscape artist, first thing I would always, always say to landscape artists is before you even think about moving on to embellishments, getting your, your style, I would say get your perspective right. Get your perspective down. Make sure that your studio skills, your basic studio skills are up to scratch because then only from a solo platform will you be able to expand, develop, change, alter, you know, go about it in a different way if you've got that basics right. If you're starting from a mismatched perspective, it's gonna become really hard for you to progress. So first of all, yeah, get your, get your foundations right. That's always a top tip. Um, next, I would say experiment. Then you've got your basics, you know what you're doing, start experimenting, start, start looking for your inspiration, start looking at other artists, this channel, for example, is a very good option. Start <laughs> watching different videos, get to grips with where you want to go, right? Think about, you picture yourself as being an artist. What do you, what do you want to put out there? What do you think is being good art? What do you think is being art that you'd like to change or how how do you work with your colors that's that's kind of a big question so get your basics right start experimenting then once you've done a bit of experimenting you want to be really starting to refine your technique and that all comes down to practice so i would say a you know, good tip would be you want to be practicing every week every week if you can i know everyone's busy so do you mean when you say practicing every week are you drawing you're talking about drawing rather than painting or both Actually, I would say that practicing can, can be an umbrella term for any, any activity that you find enriching. So that can be painting, it can be drawing, it can be getting your composition right, it can even be photography, but it has to be kind of in that, on that journey to creating an artwork. Right. Ideal would be painting, or say you're say you're going to be a painter, you might be you know, collaging or other, other activities, but say you're gonna be a painter, biggest tip would be paint paint as much as you can and really focus on trying trying different techniques getting different mixing your colors um getting just getting yourself stuck in i think that's kind of yeah this is the third step would be but getting doing yeah you got to do it yeah i yeah i think i think that's sound advice i am um, I, I mean i, I have to, i think i think drawing's valuable for for any artist actually um because it's not so much about the drawing. I mean, it's about the drawing, obviously, <laughs> but it's it's as much about the looking. You know, yeah. it's teaching you how to look and how to see. I, uh, yeah, I, that, that's all really sensible stuff. I, I, yeah. I, I think. Yeah. Uh, and is that do you base that on your journey, or do you base that on? So I'm being a bit cheeky here. So, do you, or do you base it on lessons that you've learned the hard way? I would say. I would say a co combination. Definitely, I, <laughs> right, yeah. I've definitely learned the hard way with the perspective. I definitely just thought, you know what, I'm dying to you know paint this. I'll just crack on, and that's yeah. gone hard because then you've you've got all your materials down, you've put all your paint down, and it just doesn't. It does not work. So you hard way. I think as well, learning from um, other artists, because right, we get a lot of submissions to the gallery. So I'm seeing, I'm, I'm seeing just a lot about. We're also scouting out artists, so we're looking at a lot. And I can so often see artists that are, just have so much potential. I think you're like the skill set and the way they're using the light and the actual, you know, some they've got so many unique elements in their painting. I think if only the lamppost was correct, or the, if only the the actual. Yeah. Uh, you know? Yeah, I absolutely yeah. get it. I, it's really interesting you say that. Um, yeah, because it, yeah. and, it, and it's, a, it's it's probably a conversation that's never had because you. But um, yeah, I, I yeah, if only they knew. Um, if you think, but you see, that's you can get that from other artists. And one of the things I've I've I don't know how you where you get your balance from, but I found that Instagram has been particularly helpful, and I, I've kind of made friends. 
you know, in real life, if you like as well, right. artist friends. But you, after a while, you establish a sort of little circle of trust and you can be a little bit more honest and slightly brutal. When it, and as long as you have people that you trust to do that for you, you know, they're always ever so nice. You know, it's not, when I say brutal, it's not brutal, brutal. It's, they're really, okay. they're always pleasant, but you, you, you need, you do, I think you do need as an artist, someone that can be, you know, a friendly critic. <laughs> it's so, so true, so true. You need that, you need someone to look at something and say, listen, that, that isn't working. Composition's off, look at it this way. But in a yeah. nice, in a, coming from a, yeah. and it's good. Because we're all dreadfully yeah. sensitive about our art, so you've got to, you know, <laughs> it's the, yeah. <laughs> And you need to have someone who's also an artist or maybe someone who you really trust, like family member, friend, and then you, you kind of can take it. You can take it from yeah. an artist because they also know the difficulties. They know they know yeah. what you're looking for. Um, so yeah, that's super hard. And just to, to make on another point as well is if you're looking at, it does take Picasso, for example. So Picasso's distorting perspective. He's like, he's flattening the surface. He's looking at it from multiple angles. Um, he's kind of you know, obviously the father of cubism, but then you've got artists who think, okay, well, I'll just jump straight into that. I'll just, I'll just go straight for it. But Picasso yeah. could draw. He could draw very realistically, and it's only in having that skill set that he was then able to push it, push the boundaries. So just to um, like solidify that point, is you you want to make sure that you've got your studio skills before you go ahead reinventing. The, the scale itself that is Very such good advice yeah, yeah i agree i agree main advice i'd say for landscape artists but and then on, on another point as well is to as soon as you progress so when you're really starting off say you're brand new you've just picked up your paints any old paint will work you'll you'll enjoy it you'll find you'll find pleasure in using that materials if you want to then start to sell your art if you want to become a you know, commercial artist or if you just want to you know, exhibit your art or have it have it kind of progress, you're going to very quickly want quality materials or at least materials that you can work with. So I just recommend, um, especially if you're using, say, oil pastels or watercolors, you're going to you're going to need the higher quality. Um, yeah, just to just to be able to manipulate it and to find your own style. So that's my other tip for landscape artists, yeah. definitely. Yeah, best best materials you can afford, I suppose, is yeah. really yeah. That, yeah. So it's just it's finding that balance for you as well. Brilliant, that's great. Thanks ever so much, Claire. I, I um again as ever, I it was um that was really interesting, and I'm, I'm grateful to hear your your view. And I'm sure there'd be landscape or budding landscape artists out there just starting out and trying to find their way through it. That uh, and hopefully there'll be bits and pieces in there for them. I, I, all sound advice that so um. Yeah, I think um, definitely worth a listen for those perhaps that are just starting out. And actually, I go as far as to say, probably a useful reminder for um, for those of us that have, you know, been painting a bit longer. Because it, it's, you, you know, so often you kind of have to remind yourself to get back to basics. But um, brilliant. Thank you so much for that. For those of you watching at home, I really hope that was uh, of use to you. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in the next video. As ever, um, please, please consider giving us... Uh, a subscribe or a follow on Instagram or YouTube. We're at art.friends.coffee on both, and uh, we'd be very grateful. Thanks very much. Thanks, Claire. Thank you. Bye. Bye.